daily devotion with Pastor Bala for March 28th, 2022 from Acts chapter 17, Old, Better Than New. Previously, we heard about Paul receiving a lot of persecution by the Jews who were extremely jealous because Paul knew that he was proclaiming and teaching about Christ the Messiah in fulfillment of the Old Testament scripture. The Jewish leaders were upset because attention was being diverted to Christ instead of to them. Paul was sent on before Timothy and Silas would join him. So we pick up this account with Paul by himself from Acts chapter 17, verse 16. Now, while Paul was waiting for them at Athens, his spirit was provoked within him as he saw that the city was full of idols. I will admit, seeing a city full of idols may seem extremely strange to us. We're not used to seeing monuments dedicated to what people perceive as gods, but in reality, you could say we have our own gods. What do I mean? Well, anything we put our faith and trust in. For Christians, we should be putting our faith and trust in Jesus Christ. However, there are some people who put their faith and trust in the stock market, in their finances, or maybe into other people like in the government or into the military. But for the people of Athens, they would just put their faith and trust into these fake gods. Either way, it's still an idol. Verse 17, so Paul reasoned in the synagogue with the Jews and the devout persons and in the marketplace every day with those who happened to be there. So Paul was dialoguing, not only in the synagogues, but also outside the synagogues. Verse 18, some of the Epicurean and Stoic philosophers also conversed with him. And some said, what does this babbler wish to say? Others said, he seems to be a preacher of foreign divinities because he was preaching Jesus and the resurrection. And they took him and brought him to the Areopagus, saying, may we know what this new teaching is that you are presenting. Strangely enough, this isn't a quote, new teaching, because Jesus is the fulfillment of what Moses and the prophets wrote about in the Old Testament. So this isn't a new teaching, but actually a fulfillment of a very old teaching. Verse 20, for you bring some strange things to our ears. We wish to know, therefore, what these things mean. Now all the Athenians and the foreigners who lived there would spend their time in nothing except telling or hearing something new. But for the people of Athens, this was new to them, so to speak. This is where people sometimes get themselves into trouble. We, like the people of Athens, always are trying to look for something new, something different, something to improve upon the old. But when it comes to God, we need to remember that God is eternal. So if you want to talk about something new, it can't be from God. Whenever we look for anything new in the terms of spirituality, it means we are looking outside of what Scripture has to say. So for us as Christians, we take great comfort to know that we worship a God who does not change. We have a God who takes on flesh and blood, who dies on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins, and that message hasn't changed in the last 2,000 years. And the promise to even send Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, was first given to Adam and Eve right after they sinned. Now, that's about 6,000 years ago. So we're not talking about anything new here, but something old, something ancient, something mysterious, because it's only revealed through God's holy word, God's peace. And many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.